Okay, so let's see if you can solve this simple math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is as follows. A wire is cut into two pieces. The shorter piece is 28 centimeters. If the lengths of the pieces are in a 5 to 2 ratio, what is the length of the longer piece? Now, that is the problem, but we do have a multiple choice question here, and all these numbers are in uh, units of measure of centimeters. So A is 45, B is 53, C is 70, and D is 91. Now, feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through step by step how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now before I show you the answer, let's take another look at this question. So a wire is cut into two pieces. The shorter piece is 28 centimeters. And if the lengths of the two pieces, of course we have a short piece and a long piece, but if the lengths of the pieces are in a five to two ratio, what is the length of the longer piece? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is C, 70 centimeters. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because you appear to be a certified professional expert in the area of ratios or a ratio. And if we're talking about ratios, we're likely talking about something called proportions. Now, uh, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about, but I got the right answer. Well, that is fantastic, but again, in math, when you see the word ratio, you want to think of two other words. Uh, the first word is a proportion, and the second word is a rate. Rate, ratios, and proportions is a huge topic in mathematics. So let's go ahead and get into it right now. So let's suppose you are a math student. So if you're currently studying mathematics, or you still have to take math exams. Some of you are like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I stopped doing that 40 years ago. Well, that's totally fine. But some of you still need to take math exams, math tests, math quizzes. And if you ever come across a question that you don't know how to answer, what should you do? Well, you should always guess, especially when you have a multiple choice uh, question. So you might say, I don't know, A looks pretty good to me. Well, A is wrong but at least you took a guess. Now, the only time you should not guess is on some exams where you will uh, be penalized for the wrong answer. But uh, just a little tip for those of you that are still students, never, ever leave a math question blank. All right, so here is our problem, and we're dealing with a math word problem. So what should we do? Well, what we need to do is read the problem at least three times. Now, that's my rule. Uh, rule. But uh, never just read a problem one time and then start doing the stuff, right, to try to figure it out. You know, give your uh, brain a little bit of time to kick in and think about the information in the problem. So uh, here, we're dealing with a wire. Now, if uh, you don't know what a wire is, well, it's basically it could be like a piece of metal or, or something like that or an electrical wire. It doesn't make a difference. And we want to kind of think of this wire as being straight, all right? So never over complicate a problem you might say well what if the wire is like squiggly or bent well no let's just make uh, the problem nice and simple that's a pretty good rule of thumb on uh, math uh, questions is that if you try to look too much into the question you're just going to over complicate it so um, anyways just a little tip here so our wire is a straight wire okay so a wire is cut into two pieces now we have the shorter piece, uh, the measure of the shorter piece, that's 28 centimeters. And we know that the lengths of the pieces are in a five to two ratio. What's the length of the longer piece? Now, uh, after you read a problem a few times, what you wanna do is try to model or visualize the problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what I did. And hopefully, matter of fact, I'm gonna just uh, hold up one second. Let's see if you can come up with a quick sketch that represents the information in the problem, right? Now, you don't even have to do it, um, you know, you can kind of do it in your mind's eye, but this is what you need to do. You need to kind of see this uh, problem visually. So let's go to take a look at my sketch. 
So this is what I'm thinking. So here is our lovely wire. Okay, so this line would be our wire. We're going to cut it into two pieces. So here's one piece and here's the other piece. Now you can see uh, that one of these pieces is the short piece. So this is short and this piece looks longer, right? So anytime you are making a uh, basic model or a sketch of, situation, of, a sketch of a situation, you want to make it as realistic as possible, right? So you don't want to call this the long side and, and the short side. You want to make this thing, you know, kind of be fairly representative of the problem. Okay, so the information and the problem is what? So we, let's go back to it and read it again. So the shorter piece is 28 centimeters. So we cut this wire into two pieces and the shorter piece is 28 centimeters. Okay, so we got that and we're looking for what? Well, we're looking for the length of the longer piece. So we're looking for this length right here. Now I'm going to be using algebra to solve this problem. So we don't know what the length is, but uh, let's call it X. Okay, so X just represents a number. And because we're dealing with centimeters, the length of the longer piece will be in centimeters as well. All right, so you got to pay attention to uh, units of measure. Now, what else do we know about this problem? Well, the key to solving this problem is this part right here, and that is the pieces, okay, uh, are in a five to two ratio. All right, so this is really the key critical part to understanding how to solve this problem. So what does that mean? Well, a five to two ratio is the same thing as a, uh, this is five to two. Okay, now let me just kind of explain this uh, here in a second. And matter of fact, I'm just, I just can't help myself as a math teacher, I'm going to explain this a little bit. So first of all, what is a ratio? All right, now a ratio is effectively a fraction. Okay, we're comparing two things and you can see a ratio actually as a fraction. So a five to two ratio, you can think of this as five over two. Now you could also uh, do the inverse of this, right? So we can have two over five and we're using this word two, okay? Anytime you're dealing with a ratio, it's gonna be, uh, you're gonna have the word two involved. Now that word two, you can also represent as a colon, okay? So this notation uh, is very common in mathematics. This means two to five. This would mean five to two, okay? And effectively, there's, they're the same uh, kind of idea, okay? You have to be uh, careful here, but you'll see what I'm um, talking about in just one second. But let me just go ahead and continue on with what a ratio is. So we're comparing two numbers, and effectively, we're comparing two numbers as a fraction, all right? So five, and then the... Um, uh, division sign here, or the fraction bar, is the word two. So five to two, and this is two, two, five, okay? Or five to two, or two to five, okay? So that is a ratio. Now, this is in comparison to, or in contrast to, something called a rate. All right, so what is a rate? So a rate would be something like 60 miles per hour, okay? So this is an example of a rate. So in a rate, what we are doing is we have a fraction, but the units of measure are different. So this is 60 miles per every one hour. Now the fraction bar is the word per. Okay, this is 60 miles per uh, one hour. So anytime you hear the word per, you're dealing with a rate. Um, anytime you hear the word two, you're dealing with the ratio. So in a ratio, the uh, numerator and denominator are counting the same units of measure. Okay, so here, a two to five ratio, we're talking about centimeters, right? So centimeters for the shorter piece and the longer piece. And over here, we're comparing, so let me kind of get back to the ratio. So with the ratio, we're comparing uh, distance and distance. But with the rate, uh, the difference between a rate and a ratio is that you're comparing two different completely units of measure. So we're comparing distance and time, all right? So that's kind of uh, another way you can kind of think of the difference between a rate and ratio. Now, anytime you are dealing with a rate and ratio, you want to be thinking about another word called a proportion, and we'll get into that in just one second. But this is what we have in terms of an, uh, of an interpretation of the problem. Okay, so we have the short side that's 28 centimeters. Uh, the lengths are in a five to two ratio or a two to five ratio because one length is two. That's the small side, right? And five is the longer side. So obviously uh, the longer side 
or the lengths, uh, the proportion of the lengths are in a five to two or a two to five ratio. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And I, um, you know, if you're still confused about rates, ratios, and proportions, I'll give you some uh, suggestions on how you can improve in this. But this is effectively what we have. Okay, so I talked about a ratio, I talked about a rate, and now we need to talk about something called a called a proportion. Okay, so here is our problem. And what we want to do is compare the short uh, side to the long side, or the long side to the short side. But let's go ahead and compare the short side to the long side. So a 5 to 2 ratio. Okay, so let's go back to the problem right up here. 5 to 2 ratio is what? Well, 5 and 2 represent the lengths of the short side and the long side. So in other words, if we had a wire, okay, and the uh, short side was two, well, then the long side would be five, okay? That is what it means to be in a two to five or a five to two ratio. All right, now the short side is obviously uh, two and the long side would be five because that is the ratio, but the actual measure of the short side is 28 centimeters, okay? So what we're gonna do is build a proportion which is a two, uh, two equal fractions. So this proportion, a ratio, again, is a uh, fraction that is representing or um, basically comparing the lengths, the length of the short side and the long side. So in other words, here, effectively, if uh, this measure, okay, the short side to the long side is the same as two to five. So instead of this being 28 centimeters, for example, if it was two centimeters, well then the longer side would be five centimeters. So this same uh, uh, proportion right here or ratio is the same as these two up here. So this is what it means to be in a two to five or a five to two ratio. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So if we know the length of the short side, which of course we do, that's the tw uh, 28 centimeters, what we're looking for is the length of the longer side. Of course, this ratio right here will be the same as this ratio, two to five. Okay, so now we have two equal fractions, right? So we have this fraction, that's equal to this fraction or two equal ratios or two equal rates by definition, two equal fractions uh, or ratios or rates. Remember rates and ratios are themselves uh, fractions. So when you have uh, two equal fractions, what we have is a proportion. Okay, so I'm trying to kind of squeeze in a lot of math here, but I really wanna make sure you understand this because this is really important stuff and many, many math word problems involve rates, ratios, and proportions. Okay, so now what we need to do is solve for x. So we need to solve this proportion for x. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is setting up our proportion. All right, so here is our proportion. We have two to five or two over five is equal to 28, uh, 28 over x. Now we need to figure out how to solve for x. Now, uh, every proportion has a property called the cross product. So we have two equal fractions. So let's think of another uh, fraction here. Let's say uh, one half and a, um, another fraction that could be equal to one half or is equal to one half would be like, let's say four over eight. All right, so one half is equal to four over eight. Let's take a look at a property called the cross product. This is very, very important because this is what we're gonna be using to solve for X. All right, so when we cross multiply, uh, the cross product or the products of these cro this cross multiplication is going to be equal, right? This is a property of a proportion. So two times four, let's write this here, two times four is gonna be equal to one times eight. Of course, we could see that both the left and right hand side is eight, right? So this is what we call the cross product. So here we can simply cross multiply and solve for X. So this is again, a main property of a uh, proportions is called the cross product. Now there are other properties of proportions, but if you remember the cross product, you pretty much can solve all proportion problems. All right, so let's go ahead and solve for X. But before we do that, let's go ahead and have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now I definitely need your help. I'm uh, pretty excited that I actually uh, pretty recently uh, crossed over, at least the time I'm posting this video, 600,000 subscribers and 100 million views. So, I mean, that just really makes my hair stand up. And when I first started on YouTube, I had no idea that I would you know, actually get to this level 
which is pretty exciting. But, uh, you know, when I first started on YouTube, my goal was just to really help people, um, you know, with math and hopefully people connected with my learning style. But now I've been on YouTube for well over 10 years. I have like over 3,000 videos, so I'm pretty much here to stay. So if you like my content, well, thank you so much. And if you are a subscriber, thank you, uh, you know, really thank you uh, um, for supporting me because there's no way I can get to this level without your help. So please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so uh, one last quick thing. I did mention if you need additional help with rates, ratios, proportions, two things uh, that you can check out. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel on all these topics and other math topics as well. But you may want to check out like my pre-algebra or algebra one course. Uh, you can find links to those uh, in the description or maybe my math skill rebuild a course for those of you that just kind of want to re uh, relearn mathematics. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. Not much to do here. So we have two over five is equal to 28 over X. So we are going to use the cross product and some basic algebra. So two times X, let's just go this way. Two times X uh, is two X, right? That's what two uh, X means, two multiplied by X. And that's going to be equal to five times 28. All right, so let's do the basic math. So we have 2x is equal to 5 times 28, which, of course, is 140. Now all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2. 140 divided by 2 is 70. Now remember, x uh, represents the length of that longer piece, and uh, we have to pay attention to the units of measure, right? So over here, let's go back to our little model. x is in centimeters. Now uh, one thing that you want to pay attention to uh, when you're doing any problem that involves any unit of measure is don't leave your answers, your final answers, without the proper unit of measure. So even my multiple choice question here, if I really wanted to be fancy, I really could have put just centimeters uh, behind each one of these numbers, although I did mention it in the beginning of this video. All right, so hopefully this was uh, informative. And uh, here's the bottom line. Even if you didn't know how to do this problem, maybe you learned a little bit more. Even if you don't know how to completely do this right now on your own, or if you uh, say to yourself, oh, no, I understand this. Well, here's the thing. Even if you get this problem now, you're not going to get better in math unless you practice. So I definitely encourage you to practice solving a lot of math problems if you truly want to improve in mathematics. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.